So what have you seen out of the pass rushers, I guess, in the last few weeks? Well, I tell you what, you know, uh, Dion Hollins is, uh, uh, is has one of the best takeoffs I've ever been around, you know, and uh, uh, he, he's really doing some great things and helping us with our rush there. But, you know, it just goes back to takeoff. And uh, that takeoff was, uh, I saw that on tape from last year. I think there's some things that we're, you know, I'm trying to help him with. Uh, and uh, he's just getting better every day. You know, that that speed, the, 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 what he brings to the table in the way of, of his rush really, you know, it really forces people to think about it. They, you know, they got to have to it. So, he's at an amazing camp and a great kid. <laughs> You know, uh, at the outside linebacker in position, you know, a young man like uh, uh, Jacob Toyota Mariners is doing some really nice things. Uh, he, he's gotten better every day. Uh, he's a guy that uh, we're counting on to play for us. And, uh, and uh, you know, he's just he's so coachable. And, uh, and does a really nice job of taking whatever we're doing, drill work-wise, and taking it to the game. And uh, very coachable, listens, and, and, and tries to do everything right. Uh, you know, the young man that was really, uh, at least for the, when he was out there with us, that, 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 that seemed to have a lot of promise, and, and still does, you know, but he, he uh, uh, had the shoulder injury, was, was uh, Cameron Griffin. You know, he's a young man that I, I think has a bright, bright future here. Uh, and so, uh, you know, Dwight, you know, he's, you know, he's just, <laughs> he just joined us late, but he's coming around, you know. But uh, those young guys are really coming, you know. I don't coach him, but I watch him every day, and that's uh, Matt Dickerson. Matt Dickerson is going to be a player for the Bulls, and uh, and he's doing a heck of a job. With special teams, I know uh, it's been a committee approach with, with each of the first two years here, but um, what are you kind of seeing like that you're going to fit in as the role there? Well, it's still a committee approach, you know. <laughs> uh, Coach Mora and, uh, and and Coach Ulbrich, unbelievable standing that they've had here. And so uh, I've got a, a, a tall task at following, uh, you know, the work. You know, the standard's been set. You know, there's not... There's not much uh, in the way of wholesale changes or anything like that. Uh, they've been very impressive on special teams. And a lot of it goes right back to the head coach, honestly. And then Albrecht, uh, uh, Jeff Albrecht has done a wonderful job. With it. And, uh, you know, we have seven, eight, ten guys, core guys that are on our teams that are very, very special dudes. And so I've never been at a place where We've had so many quality guys that uh, that that give us great effort and uh, and know what they're doing on special teams, you know. But then again, that's the culture, that's the standard that's been set and built here, and so I'm just uh, very very uh, fortunate to pick up where where Doug was left off. What's the learning curve you've been like since coming here and learning about how to coach special teams? Well, you know, it's. I've coached special teams a little bit here and there, everywhere I've been, all the, going all the way back to John L. Smith at Utah State, uh, uh, and, and, and bits and pieces here, but not in this scale. And so the learning curve, you know, boy, I had to learn fast, you know. And, uh, and like I said, some of those veteran guys, those older players, guys like Hoffmeister, you know, uh, Taylor Lagasset. Stephen Madfield, you know, I can go on and on and on, and I, I'm just saying three guys, names that come off the top of my head, uh, you know, that uh, I learn a lot from them, you know, they, they teach me a lot. Uh, in terms of, you know, just closing the gap, learning as fast as I can, like I said, you know, it's not like we, we, I came in and tried to manufacture something new or different. It was already in place. It was, it was up to me to learn as fast as I can. So we have 15 practices in the spring, and here we are. What are, what are we on? Practice 17 or 18? I forgot what day we were in. <laughs> but it's been wonderful, really. You know, just uh, it's a great challenge for me personally as a coach. And, uh, 
and I'm up to the task. Wait, I, I gotta figure out who I'm on. That's it. Cool. Oh, cool.